Hey guys, welcome to Quest for Thunder again. This is uh, it's actually Monday, <clears throat> and uh, we're working here on the boat again. And today, what we're going to do is we're going to be taking um, we're going to be taking a look at the batteries. Um, there's some terminals. The terminals on the batteries need to be need to be cleaned. There's some corrosion corrosion on the terminals, so we're going to clean those. So I got to move all this stuff off the off of the thing here, so we can get to the batteries. So I'm going to lift this up. Take out these washboards. Access to this bottom panel. We can pull out the panel and have access to the batteries to the house bank. Right there. Alright. Alright, so I don't know what you can see there. Let's see. You can see the panel. And then there's the house bank. And as you can see, this one battery terminal over here is pretty corroded. So I'm going to take it off, clean it up, clean up the batteries a bit. These terminals look okay, so probably just put some some dielectric grease on those to protect them, corrosion. But I got to clean that one. So anyway, that's what we're up to today, for right now anyway. Post off. That was a trick. Didn't want to come off. And you can see how corroded it is. And here's the here's the connector. I'm working on the connector right now. Um, to uh, clean it up, and get it all nice and clean. And then I'm gonna put it back on there after I clean that post. So uh, that's what we're doing right now. Alright, that's pretty good. We'll call that done on there and then we'll work on this post over here. See if we can get the post nice and clean. So if you're wondering, I completely isolated this battery from the main, from the bank, from the ship. I I tripped the main so that the, I turned off the converter. I ship, I tripped the main so that the there's no AC, no alternating current coming into the boat. And then I tripped the main ship, DC, so there's no DC draw anywhere. And then I just took off the the post here and. And as you can see, I'm just cleaning it up. All right, so that's, that's the name of that tune. Looks like we have some success here. I'm going to put some, um, I'm going to clean the area, and then I'm going to put some uh, dielectric uh, grease on there. All right, all done. Terminals are all cleaned up nice. Much better. And I put this battery terminal protectant protector on there uh, to help take care of the help and, uh, prevent corrosion. So that's good. So that project is complete. And so now I'm going to button up the battery compartment and then uh, move on to the next project.
All right, so the next project is I've got to test this uh, bilge pump here. I'm thinking that this pump here is bilge pump. Um, and the reason I think that is because I have two float switches in the bilge uh, by the engine compartment. And um, I only have one pump up there. So I'm assuming that when one float switch activates, one pump comes on. When the second float switch activates at a higher level, another pump comes on, and I'm assuming it's this pump. But I don't know that for sure, so I'm going to lift the uh, float switches and see what happens. Hopefully that's what this is, and then I'll know. Uh, that still doesn't solve my problem of figuring out where the shower sump pump is. It's failed for the forward head, and I can't find it. So I thought this was it, but uh, I don't think so from looking at the type of pump. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to go check I'm going to go uh, see if I can activate it and uh, see what happens. Okay, well that's not good news. Uh, the second float switch didn't activate anything, so I'm not sure if this is the problem. Well, Questers, that's a wrap for this week. Uh, the troubleshooting was unsuccessful. I lifted the uh, float switches. Um, and that pump never came on and then uh, I tried the uh, sump pump switch up forward uh, I made sure everything was on at the at the breaker that pump didn't come on so I don't think it's um, I don't think it's a sump pump it doesn't look like one it looks like a, a bilge pump it's, so I'm thinking it's the second bilge pump in the series that I have I have, I have two uh, a lower float, float switch and then an upper float switch for when the water gets a little higher and it should kick on a second uh, bilge pump. And I'm thinking that's what that is. It's a bilge pump and it's probably the pump. I doubt seriously that it's the uh, float switch, but I mean, it could be. So I've got to troubleshoot a little bit further. The pump looks like it's in pretty rough shape. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, the base is pretty rusty. Uh, it's pretty old. It's, it's been in there for a long time, I can tell. So I may just go ahead and replace that just because, and uh, hopefully that'll solve the problem. If not, then uh, I'll have to continue to troubleshoot and figure out what's going on. So anyway, thanks for watching today, uh, for, uh, this episode. I appreciate it. Um, I appreciate all you viewers. Um, if you uh, aren't uh, a subscriber of Quest for Thunder, please subscribe. Um, if you are, please uh, like and share. Actually, everybody, please like and share if you like the content. Uh, and if you share it with family, friends, uh, acquaintances, helps the channel to grow, and that that's great. Uh, it helps us to know what direction. You know, the more people we have uh, participating, the, the the better we know what direction to go in. And uh, so we'll continue to, to bring you the content that we have until until uh, you know uh, until such time as uh, the majority of you want to see something different. So again, thank you for watching, um, and come back and see us again. Uh, next week uh, and until then from the quest from the crew of thunder uh, fair winds and following seas